Are you ever overwhelmed by the complexity of the FDA regulations for food contact materials? It's completely understandable. The FDA regulations can seem like a labyrinth of legal jargon and technical terms, but fear not. Today, the aim is to demystify these regulations and break them down into simple, digestible parts. At first glance, FDA regulations can seem daunting, but at their core, these rules serve a simple purpose, to ensure the safety and well-being of consumers. They do this by regulating what materials can come into contact with food. So, how does this work? Think of it like this. Imagine a set of building blocks. Each block represents a different part of the FDA regulations. Some blocks cover the types of materials allowed. Others dictate the manufacturing processes, and some deal with labeling requirements. First up, let's tackle the block concerning materials. The FDA has a comprehensive list of substances permitted for use in food contact materials. These include everything from polymers to adhesives, coatings, paper, and more. Manufacturers must ensure they only use these approved substances in their products. Next, consider the block on manufacturing processes. The FDA doesn't just care about what substances are used, but also how they're used. This means manufacturers must follow good manufacturing practices, or GMPs, to ensure their products are safe for food contact. These practices cover everything from sanitation to quality control. Moving on, there's a block on labeling. The FDA requires that food contact materials are properly labeled to inform consumers about safe usage. This means including information such as the intended use of the product, any specific limitations, and the manufacturer's contact information. So what happens if a manufacturer wants to use a new substance that's not on the FDA's approved list? Well, they can file a food contact notification, or FCN, with the FDA. The FDA will then review the FCN and decide whether the new substance is safe for use. In summary, FDA regulations for food contact materials can be broken down into three main parts. The approved materials, manufacturing processes, and labeling requirements. Manufacturers must adhere to these regulations to ensure their products are safe for consumers. And if they want to use a new substance, they can file an FCN with the FDA for approval. Remember though, while this breakdown simplifies the regulations, complying with them in reality can be a complex process. It requires a deep understanding of the regulations and a commitment to ensuring product safety. But understanding the basic building blocks is a great first step towards demystifying the FDA's regulations. So the next time you encounter FDA regulations, don't be daunted. Think of them as building blocks, each one contributing to the overall goal of consumer safety. And remember, even the most complex regulations can be broken down into simpler, understandable parts.